Creative Mark has a lineup of erasers that you uh, may be familiar with, may not be familiar with. They are fairly traditional. We've got a art stroke eraser, which is the uh, kind of the egg-shaped vinyl eraser. We've got our pink stroke eraser, which is your kind of classic uh, pink rubber eraser, uh, kneadable eraser, and our white, our white stroke, which is a white vinyl eraser. And I just want to make a quick video kind of just showing you, if you're not familiar with these erasers, just how they erase. And the, the reality is, is that there, there are kind of specific uses for each eraser. However, you just kind of find what works for you specifically. So I want to kind of give you an idea of how they will feel in your hand and, 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 and what the traditional uses are, if that makes sense. So the art stroke eraser, as you can see, is a unique shape. It's, it's a, a, a more, I would say, kind of a, a beefier vinyl eraser. And it's great for erasing large spaces. It's great for uh, graphite. It's great for thicker paper. Um, and it could be great for you if you like it. You have to kind of just, like most things, find out what's your, what works for you. And it also feels really nice in the hand. Uh, because you got a really good grip on it. So what I have here are two different types of paper. I've got a multimedia paper, a 90 pound multimedia paper, and then a 30 pound, uh, just like a cartridge paper, layout paper. Um, and I've put down a, an HB, which is a, a hard pencil lead, and a 8B, which is a very soft pencil lead. And I put them down pretty heavy handed because if I go too light, you won't be able to see it on camera. So I'm not expecting any of these erasers to completely erase any of this completely. Um, but for demonstration purposes, I just want to kind of show you how they work, if that makes sense. So we're going to come in right here uh, and, and, and show you how a uh, art stroke, which is the, uh, the harder vinyl, will work on the, we'll start with that hard lead, okay? Not a lot of crumbs, um, actually stuck together fairly well. Uh, got the hard lead up, and when you're working with a hard lead, or actually any lead, when you're when you're working with a heavier hand, meaning you're not working light erasable marks, um, you know you're going to get that kind of leftover uh, residue. I mean, I could work it, but the the point is to not damage the paper surface. Uh, we'll go into the um, softer lead, which can leave a, a darker mark. And again, kind of see how that comes up. And I'm erasing with the edge of this, but you know, some people choose to erase like this and it gives them kind of a softer erase. Um, and then over here, let's see how it handles or how the paper handles, because there's a, a toss up between, you don't want it to be so tough that it destroys your paper or your paper sizing, but you want it to get the marks up, how we do on this uh, very um, lightweight paper. So we've got our hard, lead and our soft lead and you'll see that this actually comes up pretty well and one of the main reasons for that is actually because the paper itself is not extremely porous um, so there's not many nooks and crannies for the uh, graphite to hide in um, the uh, the pink stroke eraser so this is your um, rubber eraser and it's a, a more traditional I mean this is what's on the back of a number two yellow pencil uh, graphite eraser it's generally considered more abrasive it's generally considered uh, to be designed specifically for graphite but it's for whatever works for you or more, more or less so we'll just kind of compare um, it's 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 pretty soft wanted to just again get an idea of what it would be like in your hand if you um, don't have one and uh, see how it erases and I I feel like there's a good grip I'm getting a good grip on it as I erase um, it, again it's rubber so it's gonna have a, a different feel than vinyl um, you also get a little bit more crumbs with this one than you would with the um, arch stroke and then I'm just gonna go over here and show you on the softer, excuse me, on the um, lighter weight paper. Okay, we'll move along right away to the kneadable eraser. This is one of my favorite erasers because it is very 
um, it doesn't make a huge mess. Uh, it, it, it's known as a crumbless eraser. <laughs> as you can see, we've got some crumbs from our past ones. And um, it's also known as a self-cleaning eraser as you need it. Um, it, it kind of absorbs the graphite into it, eventually needing to be replaced over time, but they last a long time. And they also give you um, a really good uh, erasing job for not leaving a mess. So let me just show you how that works. So again, into our hard lead. Okay, and I'll just give it a little knead here and into our softer lead. So nothing, nothing to, to flick off. It's, it's all self-contained, which is great. I love that because I don't like a huge mess and uh, sometimes erasers can leave a huge mess. Onto our um, smoother, lighter weight paper. Comes off really nicely there. And our, now as, you, as I'm doing this, you're kind of seeing one of the weaknesses behind a kneaded eraser is that it's, it's, you can't get sharp points as easy. Um, I mean, you might find a way or a technique and, and by all means, you know, again, what I've found is that when I speak to artists about any kind of art supply, Whatever you think the traditional use is, as an artist, they have a different way of using it. That's just their own process. And sometimes you'll use something that you would never imagine for one medium, and you're using it for another. Uh, last, uh, but certainly not least, the white stroke, which is our white vinyl uh, eraser. This is probably going to give you, in the Creative Mark eraser lineup, the most even... Um, it's, not gonna pro it, it's, not, it's not rubber, it's vinyl, so it's a little softer than the um, pink stroke. It's also a little softer than the art stroke vinyl. If you look here, kind of, um, this one's a, just like I said, a little beefier where this one's a little bit softer. Um, it's easier on paper. Uh, and it also doesn't crumb as much, I would say, uh, than the, uh, it definitely doesn't crumb as much, I don't think, as the pink stroke. And let me just kind of show you here. That gives you an idea of how that will work on the hard lead. And then here's the soft lead. And then going onto this paper. Now notice that none of these erasers tore up the paper. Um, you know, I guess, you know, you can say that that's a testament to the paper as much as the eraser, you know, but uh, I would say that having an eraser that's too abrasive will tear through anything, you know. Uh, so you got to keep that in mind. But... If you're, if you're watching a video on erasers, you might be a beginner or you might be looking to find a new tool. So the, the purpose is to just find something and you know, by all means, they're not extremely expensive. Try one of each, you know, it's, it's not gonna hurt to experiment and that's really what a lot of art is about. So that was our little demo on the Creative Mark Eraser line. I hope you find one or two or four that work for you. Thanks.